Hello and welcome. I shared in my previous video that I recently enrolled in the Silva Ultramine course offered by Mind Valley, and in that video we covered my experience with Jose Silva's centering exercise and going to Alpha. I've been practicing these techniques every day, multiple times per day, and I've been amazed at the results. My goal here is to pass along this valuable info so you too can benefit from it. So today I would like to share with you another one of the foundational techniques, or really tools, taught by Jose Silva. This is called the mental screen. Now, I should note right away, all of Silva's techniques build off of the centering exercise and the three, two, one countdown. More specifically, the mental screen technique is to be done while you are in alpha. As I mentioned in the previous video where we covered the centering exercise and the three, two, one countdown, this is the foundation for all of these Silva exercises. I've posted that video in the pinned comment here, and I'll be making a playlist for all of these silver related videos and adding to it as we go, so keep an eye out for that. So without further ado, let's talk about the mental screen, and in the next video we'll cover the three scenes technique, which uses the mental screen. Once you are in alpha, it is time to begin the practice of visualization. Jose Silva said the following, and I quote, the first step is to create a tool for visualization, a mental screen. This mental screen tool is a unique way to bring out your intuition. The mental screen is actually a combination of imagination and visualization. Step one, with your eyes closed, picture a large screen. What I personally imagine is a huge movie screen, specifically an IMAX screen, which is basically just a very large screen that has incredible detail, but use whatever works for you. Now, Jose Silva mentions two very important specifics about the mental screen. First, it should be about six feet in front of you. And second, it should be elevated about 20 degrees above the line of horizon. The reasoning behind the 20 degree elevation is, if you remember from the previous video, focusing the eyes upward like this stimulates alpha activity in your brain. Now, project onto this mental screen whatever you would like to concentrate on. Start out with something simple here, like for example, your keys on your key ring. See your keys on your mental screen. Notice the specific colors of each key on the ring. Notice the basic shapes of each key as specifically as you can. Now, see them moving and turning around, or even upside down. Now, shake them on your mental screen, and as you do, see and feel them shaking. Hear them jingling as they shake. The keys are just an example here. You can use any item you wish to practice with for this exercise. A piece of fruit, your pet, whatever. The goal here is to simply project something on the screen and keep your focus on it and interact with it for as long as you can. You can also project yourself onto the screen, doing some sort of activity, being in a specific place, etc. It's up to you. Be patient with yourself as you do this. If thoughts come up and try to distract you away from your focus here on the mental screen, be forgiving to yourself and gently push the thoughts away and continue on. I can promise from personal experience that it gets easier with practice. One other thing you can do here that is helpful is to describe to yourself mentally what you are seeing. As you describe to yourself what you are seeing, you will find that the image that you are focusing on will become more real. For example, let's say I'm projecting onto my mental screen that I'm driving a car. I would ask myself, what kind of car are you driving? Then I would answer myself, it's a new Porsche 911. Hey, why not, right? It's my mental screen project and I can do whatever I want in it. Okay, self, what color is it? Well, it's a metallic charcoal gray color and oh, it's a convertible. 
And as I'm driving it, I can feel the wind in my face and hair. And what does the steering wheel look and feel like? Well, it's black and soft leather and feels good to grip. Oh, and I can feel the vibrations of the road as I'm gripping it. That kind of thing is the overall idea. You're basically using this as a tool to go deeper in the vision on your mental screen. As you do this, you end up with more details about the visualization and more things to describe to yourself about your experience, thus making it more real to you. So this becomes a cyclical approach. As you mentally describe more things to yourself about the experience, the detail in your visualization becomes more clear and real to you. So, spend some time practicing this. It's a lot of fun for sure, and it gets easier as you do it more and more. You're basically building intuitive muscle as you practice with these visualization exercises. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next in the series, where I'll be covering the three scenes technique, which builds on this one. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, feel free to leave any comments or questions. I would love to connect with you. Adios!